I don't care what anyone says, root beer tastes way better in a Snoopy mug with a pig pen crazy straw. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Peanut Sketch School. My name is Noel, and I'm gonna be your art teacher here in just a moment. Today, we're gonna to be drawing the athlete of the Peanuts world, Peppermint Patty. Before we get going, I got a few quick little tips that'll help make this easier for you. First, the best thing about Sketch School, it's a video. You get to work at your own pace. If at any moment during the drawing lesson you feel confused or you fall behind and you've missed a step, you can always pause the video, back it up, watch that part of the lesson again, and continue drawing. You can even freeze frame the screen and draw right off it directly. Again, the beauty is you get to work at your own pace. You should never be stressed out during sketch school. This whole thing is about having fun. And speaking of having fun, I highly recommend you invite some other people to draw with you. Drawing is the thing that's wonderful to share with other people. In fact, when we do sketch schools at our parks, the best part truly is at the very end of class, everyone holds up their drawings and we look around and see how different we all drew the characters. That's an awful lot of fun. Now, today you're gonna need just a few simple art supplies to draw Peppermint Patty, and I'm sure you have them around the house already. First thing you're gonna need is one of these, a pencil. I recommend a number two lead. Number two is a good soft lead to work with. Most cartoonists draw with that. But if it doesn't say number two on the end, that's not really that big of a deal. You could also use a pen, a marker, or even a crayon. The thing you're not gonna need is an eraser. We're gonna be doing what's called a rough sketch. I'm gonna talk about more about that when we get into the drawing process. The other thing you're gonna need, blank paper. Any size will do. Well, I think that's about it. Time to channel your inner peppermint patty. Pencils up. It's cartoon time. All right, time to hit the old paper. Step number one. Lightly in the center of your page, sketch in a circle that's about as big as an orange. Now the key word, gang, is to sketch. I'm very lightly drawing several curved lines and then I'm blending them together. You'll notice I'm using my arm and my wrist. When you just use your wrist, that's more in tune with writing. You just make little chipping strokes. This is more like sculpting and blending lines together. There we go. Keep it light, keep it loose and sketchy. Stay sketchy. That's my big motto. All right. You got a circle. Let's get you in the middle here, Patty. Let's turn it into our cartoon pal. Step number two, this next step makes this so much easier, gang. From the top of the head, which is gonna be here, to the bottom, which will be down here, very lightly, I'm gonna sketch in my center line. When I used to work as an animator, this was very important. This line tells you where the front facing side of the shape is. She's gonna be facing this direction. If I had her looking that way, for example, I'd have drawn that curve over there. And the other guideline, this is called the eye line, this one goes right to left. Basically, we're just drawing a big old plus sign right in the middle of the shape. This does two things. One, it shows us the center of it, where her nose goes. And two, we now have four smaller areas to put things instead of a big blank one. This gives us a better shot of getting things where we want them. Step number three, I like to call this the steps here. We're gonna draw her nose. I'm gonna have her looking that way today. Now her nose is one of my favorite things about Patty. It's a big old letter C, and her nose is just a little bit larger than the other Peanuts characters. You can really see this when she's in profile. That means she's facing to the side. Channel your inner athlete. Peppermint Patty is by far the star athlete of the Peanuts gang. She's the captain of the baseball team that always defeats Charlie Brown. She's an excellent hockey and football and basketball player also. Now her eyes, just like all Peanuts characters, go on either side of the nose, just below the top of it. Here and here. Now these are small circles, they're not just dots. The real big deal, gang, treat these like shapes. And once you got that circle the way you like it, I really want you to press down with the pencil and make this nice and dark. You can get the darkest tone out of a pencil by applying a bit more pressure to it. Remember how we were drawing lightly a moment ago? Well, now we're adding detail work. That's a little bit of a different technique. Pressing down a little harder. Lighter for sketching, darker for detail. 
And above the eyebrows, or above the eyes rather, I'm gonna draw her eyebrows. These go directly above the eye. I'm gonna pop these up just a little bit. These are small curves. You can bend these up or down. By playing with these, you can create all kinds of expressions. If you bend them in at an angle, urgh, she gets crabby, kind of like our pal Lucy always does. And if you bring them way up, she'll get surprised. Okay, now here's where she's different than any of the other kids. Every other one of the little girls in the strip has this very neat sculpted hair, and you can always see their ears. Patty's hair is a mess. She just rolls into school every day without really combing it. In fact, she doesn't even wear shoes at school. She comes in wearing sandals. She's quite the individual. We're going to draw her hair as a bunch of shapes, and then we're going to add detail to make it look like hair. The main shape of her hair sits on the top, and I like to think of this as a football. It's two curved lines. Remember how we drew real light when we built, when we built the shape? Well, we're building another shape here, cartoon fans. So a nice curved line going that way. See, it's in the shape, then another one up above. See, it's kind of got this football kind of feel to it. See, right there, you can start to see Peppermint Patty. These big shapes really show who's who when you look at them at a glance. Now, for the sides of her hair, it hangs down and covers the ears up. Watch this. These start on either side of your football, here and here. I'll do this side first. I'm just gonna pull on this line, and I'm really pulling on it. Imagine that that hair is hanging there. There's a little weight to this, right over here on this side too. Hey, Chuck. This gal is so informal. Everybody else calls Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. They even say his last name every time. She doesn't say that at all. She just calls him Chuck. Okay, so we framed her up with these two curves. One here, one here. Now for the inside of the hair, I'm gonna do the same thing, but start right on the guideline here. Look at this. Here comes the hair. It's pulling it down. Imagine that it's hanging here. See, this frames up this adorable little face. How you doing, Patty? Oh. And shape-wise, I'm just gonna close these off here. See how I'm going up at a slight angle as I do this? This hair is closer to us than this hair because it's going back. See, it's going back towards the back of her head. It's subtle, but little things like that start to make your drawings look a little more solid. In fact, we can just close off the bottom all together here. Just take this, I'm gonna shave a little bit off of my circle here. I'm gonna line it up with that hair. Her hair is always at about just a little below chin length. There we go. Peppermint Patty is one of the few characters in the strip that actually has a sidekick. Snoopy, of course, has Woodstock, whereas Peppermint Patty has Marcy. How you guys doing? Is it starting to look like Patty? More importantly, how do you like your own drawings? And are you having fun? That's really what this is all about. All right, now for the detail on the hair. Remember how we pulled these lines down to create the shape? I'm gonna do the same thing, but in here. Boink. You could add as many or as few of these as you like. Let's fill this up here, create this texture. She's a redhead. She always wears a little green shirt with stripes on it too. She met Charlie Brown at summer camp. She did not debut with the strip. There was a whole long storyline they ran for a while where he went off to summer camp and he didn't have any friends. And he met Peppermint Patty and Marcy there. She was only supposed to be in the strip during the summer, but the audience liked her so much and wrote in so much fan mail. When Charlie Brown went back to school in September, she was sitting in the front of the classroom. She transferred to a school. Now, for the front of the hair here, there's always two lines that just go across this shape. Watch this. There we go. Swoosh. And you can darken up this outside line here a little bit. When Charles Schultz did these characters, he drew them in pen and ink. That was the final line that you would see in your Sunday Funnies or your newspaper. All right, we're missing a mouth and some adorable freckles. Now her mouth is just a little bit wider than her eyes. I'm gonna come, and it's right in the middle here, between the nose and the chin, right in the center. And it's just a little bit wider than this. I always like to draw these little dots and play connect the dots when I make smiles. Drawings are all about building. If you know where your line's starting and where it's ending, that helps out so much. And I always start a smile by drawing these little corners of the mouth. I call those smile lines. 
and you just connect them. Now, it doesn't look like peppermint patty until you add the freckles. These are just three dots. Dot, dot, dot. In fact, if you were to play connect the dots with patty, these would look just like a triangle. And I never like to just draw a head. I always like to add the collar and the neck. That'll make it look more like a portrait. I'm gonna add that on next. Right below her nose here is her neck. And it's just as wide as the nose. Now this is just a tube shape-wise. For us, this is two straight lines. Bring these down at an angle. And then I'm gonna connect them with a letter V. Now she doesn't wear a t-shirt. She wears this rumply polo shirt. The collar is always a little wrinkly. It has these green, it's green with black stripes on it. Now the collar, this is the same as Charlie Brown. It's two curving lines. Curve out from the neck and back in. And the trick, if there is one, try not to let that get sharp and pointy. Sharp angles make characters look harsh. Think cute. <gasps> oh snap, we just drew Peppermint Patty. Last step, sign your name next to that. You just drew the greatest athlete the Sunday Funnies has ever seen, Peppermint Patty. Ah, <sighs> well that was a lot of fun. I was never very good at PE. I always kind of envied Peppermint Patty. Well, thanks for drawing with me. This was a lot of fun. I sure hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I sure hope you continue to practice. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Well, till next time, stay sketchy.